Hey guys, welcome to the premiere episode of a series that I like to call Steam Powered ASMR. In this series, I'm going to be going through my Steam library and playing a lot of the games that I got from Humble Bundles or uh, other game packs like that, that I've never really looked into. My aim is to uncover some lesser known titles that you might have seen around but never really paid much attention to. I'm not going to be reviewing these games exactly, uh, just giving my first impressions on them and talking about the experience that I'm having with it. I'm looking to dedicate one or two videos to each game, uh, depending on how far I want to continue playing the game. And uh, these episodes will typically be a bit shorter than my normal videos, since I don't want to do full playthroughs. Hopefully, through this series we find some interesting games, some interesting mechanics, and have a good time uh, playing some video games. So with that said, let's get started with our first episode. To kick things off, I wanted to take a look at Crayon Physics Deluxe, and it's a little independent game, I'm pretty sure it's independent. It's a puzzle game based on, obviously, crayon physics, where in each level you are trying to solve a puzzle by getting a red ball to collide with a yellow star that you can see just below. And if you've ever played Scribblenauts, uh, that game has different rewards for solving a puzzle in different ways. And this game also has that mechanic. But uh, we're just going to be doing the basic puzzle solving, I think, so that we don't have to see the same level too many times. Um, each level is made to look like a piece of paper with crayon drawings on top of it, and I really have no idea how you would effectively draw crayon graphics in a computer program, you know, that seems, seems like a very difficult concept to get the particle effects right. But anyway, we're going to start off the game by just drawing a simple green box and I'm going to change my crayon colour after this because green doesn't stand out very much. But the green box bumps the red ball into the star and we pass the first level. Now you can erase things by right clicking and dragging and you can even erase stuff that's drawn on the map. Uh, I was actually trying to change my crayon colour though, which I've just discovered is mouse wheel. And I'm looking for something that, yeah, let's go that blue. I think that might have been our original colour. So we'll continue on to the next puzzle. Alright, so we want to get the ball down to the star now. We can go the easy route and just click on the ball, which rolls it along. But we didn't come here just to click on balls, we came here to draw crayon objects. So we're not going to take that route, if I can help it. So we'll move on to the third level. Now we have to get the ball down to the star, but if we just knock it off here. That was a pretty poor attempt, but it's you'll get the idea in a second. It's just going to roll off into this pit. Um, when the ball is destroyed, it obviously falls off. But what we actually want to do is press space to start again. Sorry, I just realized I said when the ball is destroyed, it falls off. What I meant was when the ball rolls off and is destroyed, it just respawns. Uh, now you can do some pretty tricky things like this. So if we circle this cloud, hopefully that works, and then draw a little slope down here, and a little catch, mm, that didn't really work. So we'll try this instead. That didn't really work either, but we can add a bucket onto it. Apparently we can't because my crayon changed colour. But we'll 
I'll try the same thing again. Draw a little cup. Draw a stick. And then a little bucket on the end. And then fill it with some objects. Until it's weighed down enough to bring the ball down. After which we can destroy this. And the ball will bounce into the star. So obviously, I'm not the most elegant problem solver, but I get the job done. So next up, we want to play uh, this castle level. And it's telling us to draw a line, so it's just going to be a basic bridge, I think. And then it wants us to click the ball, which we've already discovered we can do. But, you know, whatever gets us through the level, I suppose. So now we've got a bit of a path. Draw stuff. So we'll do a bit of graffiti while we're here. I'm going to draw over the level, I think. My bad. The soundtrack's quite soothing too, which is why I thought this game would be a good choice for an ASMR video. Now, this one I got stuck on for a bit yesterday. Basically what I ended up doing was making a ramp and then doing one of these again. And that might get enough speed up, but I doubt it. Okay, it didn't quite, but now we can just fill this up to bring the ball to our star. Doesn't look like it's going to want to fill up R because it's actually stuck on this thing. Okay, so in that case, we want to draw another one, sort of scoop that under there if we can. And then delete the orange one. Is that going to work? Excellent. That was a bit of tricky physics that you might not ever see from me again. But now we've got another problem in that this thing isn't getting weighed down. I think I drew it too tightly. Alright, so we're just going to start again. We can just draw a straight line. And then knock our ball that way. is a pretty dull one to be honest but what are you gonna do we get to do some interesting things in a minute if I remember correctly yeah this one sounds pretty cool okay so we'll play this level called catapult where we just want to fill up this bucket and try and launch our red ball into the star So we got that one pretty easy. We can play this one next. Oh, it looks like we're just gonna miss out on the cap on the uh the catch of the star. Which is a horrible way to phrase that, but I'm very tired. Alright, clearly I'm just not thinking at all now. So we wanna do that, but then draw a bucket. I don't think it's going to work now, actually. It is not. Okay. Easiest way, then, is to just draw a ramp like that. There we go. And the ball is fast enough to beat the ramp falling off the hill. Uh, we'll play tea time next. And it uh, looks like... Is this thing going to... Collapse. No, I thought that might be a seesaw kind of device. But this is pretty cool because we can just go draw a ramp down here. Okay, no, we're going to go this way first. So it's got something to hold on to. Ramp. Then we want, what do we want? One of these bad boys. And that 
should work. Okay. Oh, I just reset the game by accident. The map. How annoying. Okay. That's alright, because now we can draw a better one of these. And that was a poor drawing, but... You'll have to excuse my artistic skill. Okay, that's going to work. So now we can just draw a little ball to nudge this in the right direction. Might draw another one because it's going slow. There we go. And push that out of the way and roll into the star. Excellent. And we can capture the ball there where we would have, but the game faded out. Um, Alright, we'll go this one. Seems simpler. So we've got quite a bit of ground to cover here, but what we can do is not that. Do one of these again, maybe. Is it going to work? Alright, that's going to work. Can I continue drawing off that? No, I can't. So it has to be in one stroke, the objects. But we can make some stairs. circle this a bit and then just boop there we go so there's multiple ways of doing these I'm just doing some really basic quick ones which are pretty boring but you know if you get this game for yourself you can explore your own ways to solve the puzzles So I think we want to draw a little triangle in here to open that. Probably didn't have to be a triangle, but it makes sense to me. Now what we can do is draw a little catapult of our own. Mm, I might have mucked this up a bit. I did indeed. Okay. Well, we can try again. Little wedge to open the drawbridge. Then a bucket for the ball. So now we want the neck to go like diagonal up with another bucket on the end. That's not going to work either. My brain is just not working right now. But you get the picture, you know, that you could do a catapult there. Let's try this really crappy one. Oops, I'm going to knock it off, I think. Yep. There it goes. This will work, actually. If it can... Yeah. And then we can just delete that, and... Alright. So I was trying to do things a bit more interesting then, and it sort of worked out. Took me a bit longer to get there, though. This one's called a real catapult. So it's sort of the same design we had before. Let's just fill this up first of all, and we'll see what it gets us. That was silly. I just fill it up immediately. <clears throat> okay, so it doesn't go fast enough, which means I need to draw more, I guess. <laughs> that nearly worked. If I can get this to tap that a bit. Nope. Go the other way. There we go. Oh, the ball fell off. Alright, we have to start that one again. Oh. Dang it. It's uh, not fast enough. 
to launch it over this part. So I really need to draw something that'll catch the pole here. Whoops. Right idea, wrong execution. Alright, let's draw this first so I've got more time. So it'll just be like this. And then just like that. Oh, it fell off. Alright, that should work. I think I quite got the angle right, unfortunately. Okay, well that's handy. Now it's stuck there, what am I supposed to do with that? Need a little push. <sighs> Come on, get up there. I think I can get it from there, unfortunately. It's wedged in pretty tight. Okay, so what if... No, okay, we're just going to start again. <laughs> just going to keep drawing myself into circles there. How big does this thing need to be to get it out of the thing in time? I'm crying out loud. Do I have to, like, drop it in from a height, maybe? Nope, that was even worse. I'm leaving too much of a gap here, that's my problem. Alright, now we should be good. Don't even ask me what the hell that was. Alright, here we go, this is the winner. Oh, come on, buddy, give me a break. Alright, if we can just get that over there, and then we can delete these. Alright, we got there in the end. That was super embarrassing, but we got there. <sighs> it says the boat will take us to New Islands. So it looks like there's quite a few islands to explore. But I think we're going to call that an episode here. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for our first episode of Steam Powered ASMR. It's a new series that I'm pretty excited about making, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.